Hi, this is Amy, and I want to show you around the newest, latest version of Screencastify. It is probably my favorite Chrome extension ever. I think every single educator should know about it, and really everybody in business should know about it too. So I hope that if you're not already using Screencastify, this helps you get started. And if you are, then this helps you learn about the new features. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to install it first. And if you've already got it installed, you can skip to the next part of this video. Our first step is going to be to go to the Chrome Web Store. Um, I'm just going to type that in my Omnibox up here and the Chrome Web Store is accessible on a PC, a Mac, or a Chromebook and an easy way to get there on all those different devices is just to do a Google search for Chrome Web Store. And once we're inside the Chrome Web Store, I'm taking you through here. You could have just gone straight to Screencastify, but I want to take you through here so that you can see that there are a lot of different tools that you can install here. And one of those amazing tools is Screencastify. So I'm going to type, type that in my search and go ahead and hit enter. And this is what the tool looks like. I already have it installed, so I see rate it. You're going to see add to Chrome, and then you're going to click another button that says add extension. And then you will see Screencastify to the right of your Omnibox. This is where my Screencastify is showing. If you have a lot of extensions, they could appear inside these three dots in the top right. We call them the hot dogs. Or if your browser needs to be updated, this could be a red, yellow, or orange circle. So you want to get your browser updated, especially if you do not for some reason see Screencastify in the Chrome Web Store. It could be because your browser is out of date. All right, now that you've got it installed, let's go ahead and click on the Screencastify extension. And today we're going to be practicing with the desktop version. So uh, there's two other versions of two other ways to use Screencastify. One is the browser tab. That means it's only going to record the tab that you're in when you start the recording. And the other one is webcam only, which means that Screencastify will just record what your webcam sees. And yes, teachers, that's right. If you have a document camera, you can have it record only what your document camera sees. So that will let you, for example, read a book underneath your document camera and record yourself reading the book. Embed webcam is going to control whether or not my computer's webcam is accessed so that there's a picture in picture of me in the video and then which webcam I'm accessing if I have for example a document camera also plugged in and then under show more options you will at least see countdown which I always leave on I want to know for sure when my video starts and show drawing tools depending on what device you're using you may also see tab audio system audio um, and maybe some other options so let's go ahead and click record and see what happens and we're going to record in the desktop mode because that's going to give us um, the maximum flexibility so now uh, when I click record, I'm going to see my picture in picture down here in the bottom right. If I want, I can move that around and I've given a choice up here. Do I want to record my entire screen or my application window? And I'm going to go ahead and record my entire screen so that you can see even outside the confines of the video I'm making for you right now uh, that I'm, I'm recording with Screencastify. So I'm going to close this preview. It's a little distracting to me. And now when I get ready to record, I've got the correct screen selected. I'm going to go ahead and select share. So I'm going to click that. It's going to show me a three, two, one. And down at the bottom of my screen, I see this little strip right here, which says that it's recording. Now, if you are recording in an application window and you see this little box inside the application window, I would go ahead and hide this because that's going to be in your final video. All right, now that we're recording, um, I'm going to show you some of these drawing tools. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a document so that I can show you the drawing tools on top of the document. All right, I'm looking at a student essay here, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up a uh, pin down here in the bottom left with my drawing tools. And now this is going to let me actually draw on top of the student's paper. So I can point things out down here. I can come back and change the color down here if I want to, um, to help the student see exactly what I'm talking about in his or her paper. I can also pause recording right down here and resume and stop recording right down here. Once I'm paused, I can start over um, and I can show or hide my mouse and erase my marks. So really handy little area down here.
All right, when my Screencastify video is completed, I'm going to uh, stop my pretend video now. So I'll go ahead and hit the stop button there. It's going to open up in a new tab. And this is where we really start to see the differences in the newest version of Screencastify. One thing that's not immediately evident is that uh, we are no longer limited by the number of videos we make a month, which is really good news for educators. Because now the number of videos you can make is unlimited, it's the time that's limited. You have all of the features in the former premium version of Screencastify, you have that always now. The only thing that you don't have is you, you can't make a video longer than five minutes unless you're paying for the premium service. That's really wonderful because your videos really shouldn't be longer than five minutes anyway. But if you do find a need to make those, it's really very a very affordable product. All right, let's go ahead and give our video a name. So we're going to call this Testing the New Screencastify. And when I click off here, there's my video now with a name. If I want to edit it, I can open it with the editor right up here. I can uh, trim the beginning and the end. I can crop the video. I can cut parts out of the middle. Whatever I need to do to the video, um, I can even add words on top of it. It's pretty spectacular. I can also download the video as multiple different formats. It is already saved in Google Drive, which is really probably the most convenient place to, to leave it. I can get embed code right up here. There are so many different options, but my favorite one is probably copy shareable link. And this is why, because I want to be able to go back over to my student's paper and I want to be able to add a hyperlink to the student's title so the student can watch a video of my feedback. Let me show you how I do that. All right, so if I want to leave a video of the recording that I made for my student giving feedback to his or her work, I'm going to highlight over the title, click, hold, and drag over the title. I'm going to grab my insert link button up here from the toolbar, and then I'm going to control V like a victor to paste that URL to the video right into this space. All right, now that my URL is in there, I can click apply. It is applied to the title of the student's paper and he or she will be able to click that link and watch the Screencastify video of my feedback. So I hope that that helps you get started with Screencastify and learn about some of the new features that are available and how the new version works. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.